Hey there, Sharon Hornells from here. Welcome to day 331 of our BU 365 day challenge to do one thing every day that improves us in some way. This month we're doing no nonsense November, so it's no nonsense November day 27. 27 different life lessons that I personally learned that I want to share with you and my family and the kids, my kids and people I love and care about, my granddaughters, because I learned them the hard way. I, I wish any of these life lessons I had learned and and had that epiphany, that aha moment, the easy way, but most of them know, and most of them I didn't learn the first time. It took me many, many experiences in order to actually say, oh my gosh, this is how my life is working. So today's is about your unique journey. Each one of us is here on the planet, and I 100% believe this now, to experience this life as only we can we we get to have this one of a kind experience that is our life that's going to be different than every other person on the planet and every other person on the planet that's ever lived right it's our experience so i'm going to share eight ways that we can value our experiences and value the journey no matter what but also <clears throat> excuse me need coffee as part of our daily action item we do a single daily action to help us become a better version of ourselves I'm gonna ask that you think about and share your favorite expression about life, your favorite saying about life. Life is a bowl of cherries. Life is what you make it. Whatever it is, share that in the comments below. So what are eight ways that we can enjoy the journey, this crazy journey called life, no matter what? Number one, I need to grab my magnifying glass because my journey now involves visual and vision enhancing tools and activities. Uh, number one, show gratitude. We've talked about gratitude so many times this year. I've lost track of how many times, literally hundreds of times. We've talked about the power, the importance, and the value of gratitude. Being thankful for what we've got right now. Why? Because if we're thankful for the things we love and appreciate about ourselves and about our life, we create more of that in our life or in our job or in our relationships or in anything. What we put into things is what we get out of them. I think I've said that probably dozens of times this year as well. Number two, be committed. Be committed to having an awesome life, having a good life, right? Creating what you want. Number three, uh, cherish your friends, your relationships, your family, the people you love and care about. I think we've talked about this, but I have come to believe that every person that we come in contact with, every story we hear, every book we read, every experience we choose to participate in, every organization, every single person that we hear about, but especially ones that come into and touch our lives in some way, shape, or form, come into our lives for a reason, for us. Sometimes they're there to teach us how not to be. Sometimes they're to teach us or show us something about ourselves that we maybe not have not been noticing but they all come in for a reason. Number four, keep learning. I've said this dozens of times as well. We want to always be curious, always be learning, always be growing, always being open to the possibilities that life has to offer because it has infinite possibilities for us, right? Each and every one of us. You know, one choice, one decision sets us down one road, but we can always change our mind. We can always say, nah, I'm, I'm not feeling that good about this road. Let's make a different choice. Number five, don't multitask. And again, I will continue to argue with this one because I really believe that if women couldn't multitask, this the human species would cease to exist. And I think that, that people make fun of me for that, but it's so true. If I wouldn't have been able to multitask raising my kids, I, I don't think we all would have made it. I certainly wouldn't have made it or survived the experiences. You know, some days it's really hard to be a mom and a grandma. Other days, it's 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 the best thing in the whole wide world. And, you know, sometimes that all happens in the same day, dozens of times where you're freaking out. And then you're like, oh, my God, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Uh, so, again, you get to decide what you believe about multitasking or not. I personally have found that more men think that multitasking is impossible than women. I've come to believe that that's because our brains are wired differently and we play different roles and we have different responsibilities here on the planet. I, you know, we could argue with them, we could say that's not right, or we can just say it is what it is, how am I gonna respond to it? Number six, balance your life. And this is another one I'm gonna argue with because 
I personally believe balance is BS. I don't think that, it, and it depends how you define balance. If I define balance as everything in my life has to be hunky-dory, smooth, and equal in certain ways, I spend as much time on my physical health and well-being as I do on my relationships, as I do on my mental and my my uh, emotional well-being, it, it, and my work life, and my um, business, and my career. It, I don't think there's ever been a time in my life where I have felt balanced. Um, it, we always have to set priorities. We always have to decide what's important for us. And then that will feel balanced to you. When I was raising my family, my kids were a much higher priority in my ex-husband than they have to be now. Well, no, they're still my number one priority. Not my ex-husband, but my kids and my granddaughters. Uh, but it's a different level of energy that goes into to raising my granddaughters and being with my granddaughters as it did with my kids. My kids, you know, 100% responsible. My, my granddaughters, guess what? Their parents are 100% responsible for them and they're, they're raising, not me. So that takes a lot of the pressure off. Uh, number, but, but again, you got to decide what is balance for you. To me, balance is doing the things I love and care about most of the time and spending, you know, being present, all those things. But uh, as far as if you think it's going to balance the scales or life is going to be fair, you're in for some disappointments. Seven, uh, make family first. I think I just said I do that. My family is the most important thing to me and always will be. Uh, and number eight, take time to travel, explore. And that's part of learning and growing and having new experiences. Again, our action item today, that's the list of eight. Our action item today is just to share your favorite saying about your life journey or about the journey of life, right? I will do the same. I don't really know what my favorite is, so I'm gonna do a little research. There's literally thousands, if not tens of thousands of, of sayings and, and quotes and, and wise words about life. And so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna Google life journey or life journey sayings and see what comes up and then see what one resonates the most with me. And I will share it in the comments below sometime today. Traveling so I will get to it, not sure exactly what time, but I do do something every day that helps me become a better version of myself that's moving me toward my goals. And if I do one thing in a day that moves me toward my goals, then I feel like it's been a successful day. And I haven't done none yet, so I haven't had an unsuccessful day with respect to this challenge. Now, doesn't mean I won't, but I don't plan on it. When I commit to something, I pretty much go for it. All right, have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, ask. Again, I am traveling, so hit me up on Voxer, which is a walkie-talkie app on my phone. Pajamagramma at gmail.com is my handle on that particular platform. Uh, it's usually reserved for my consulting clients, but I, I share it here because you know what? I know that most people are never gonna, gonna Voxer me, and that's okay too. Uh, tell me who you are and what I can do for you. All right, have an awesome day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow with day 332. Only a couple more days of no-nonsense November, so I'll have to check what my lessons are. I actually planned them out for the whole month because I uh, knew I was going to be traveling. I haven't done December yet, though. Secret. I'll, I'll get to it today. Today's my planning day. All right, be with you tomorrow.